It's James Steinhubel, TVU, on the Mika Safe House channel, and we've got Michael, the manager of the Little Pet Company in Fort McMurray. How are you doing, sir? I'm good. How are you? Very well, very well. How's business? Oh, it's good. Uh, despite COVID, um, <laughs> it's as good as it could be. Okay, okay. And, that, and um, the Little Pet Company, give us the uh, give us the 30-second rundown. What's, what's it all about there? So, uh, the Little Pet Company, I started five years ago in 2015 in my parents' garage and uh, bounced around a little while, went full retail in 2018, and recently, in the last couple of months, we expanded into all areas of the pet industry, so you name it, birds, reptiles, small animals, fish, uh, dog, cat, all of the above. Fantastic. That's a, that's a, great, uh, that's a great story. How, how is the community... Uh uh, accepted the expansion, or, or, and they're, they're obviously supporting you. You guys are still in business. Yeah, absolutely. Really, uh, really well, actually. So, obviously, this is kind of like mom and pop shop. It's not a franchise. Um, Fort McMurray is a place where there's lots of franchises, but very few uh, mom and pop shops. And the people here really want to support local. So, it's definitely something I'm grateful for. And it's kind of watched uh, as our business has grown over time. So, they kind of they feel involved, and we're definitely on a on a first name basis with our customers. So, definitely very well supported. That's fantastic. And what's uh, what's popular? What's uh, what's what's getting sold? What's getting bought? Um, so right now, I suppose uh, uh, to my surprise, uh, small animals, uh, small animal supplies are very popular in Fort McMurray. Mm-hmm. Um, so definitely a lot of people interested. We've had some really Really cool uh, rabbits come through, guinea pigs, um, hamsters, of course, very popular. Um, and we're slowly getting into birds. We're kind of just uh, getting our feet wet with that one. Uh, we had a finch here the other day, and he found a home. And we got two budgies lined up to find a home. So um, we're going to expand our bird section here really soon so that we can carry larger birds, parrots, that kind of thing. That's, uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. We've had yeah. uh, Michael, the owner of the little pet company in Fort McMurray, with me, James Steinville, on TVU, the Mika Safe Host Channel. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> it's James Steinhubel on TVU on the Mika Safe House Channel. And today we have Nikki Smithinski, owner of Indigo Pets in Drayton Valley. How are you doing, Nikki? Really good. Excellent. How's business? Uh, this week, well, today so far is slow, but it's been it's been pretty good. Good, good, good. So, you know, just a quick description of your business, you know, a 30-second rundown. What's on the go in Indigo? We're a full-line pet store that includes grooming, and we also offer in-home boarding. We sell reptiles, fish, uh, birds, hamsters, you know, that kind of thing. Excellent. And so uh, the local community is obviously in Drayton Valley has been supporting you. What's uh, what's of interest this year? What's uh, What's hot off the shelves? Uh, as far as pet supplies, yeah, like what are pe- what are people coming in for? Uh, we're right now. It's a lot of heated beds and heated bowls. Nice. Um, with COVID, a lot of people have uh, started being a pet parent this year, so we're seeing a lot of new setups and setting the animal up right. Um, also, with so many children. Uh, doing online schooling, then they they are home more. But lots uh, just for anxiety because they're not seeing their friends at school. Mm-hmm. That's, good. That's good. And a pet is the perfect thing for that. Yeah, and lots of responsible pet ownership and setting them up correctly. It's not rash decisions. Right, right. Uh, so, what, so when their people are coming in for uh, to purchase a, a pet, or you know, or they're adopting a pet. What kind of process do you put them through? Uh, well, lots of questions, lots of education of did you know, and this is also what entails being the pet owner to say, you know, a, a degu, um, and what that means for them long term as well. Um, and, you know, um, proper sizing of cage, um, you know, how many hours out of the cage, that kind of thing. Yeah, no, it's, um, it's, before they make a decision. And do you, do you find that uh, people are coming back and uh, you know and they're 
you know, buying, you know, buying their supply when they bought their pet, and they're buying their supplies, and you're getting good reports, and they're yes, yes, you. they're thrilled and how much it's done for their child, and you know, combating that loneliness, and it's uh, nice to see that parents are encouraging more having a pet than being on a game. No, that's so good. That is so good, and you know what? It's the first time that I've heard that. And uh, oh, really? Yeah, no, I, I appreciate that information. So it's it's good. Hmm. And so, um, any uh, any extra special reason for people to come in the store in the next few days? Um, to see the different. Like we have lots of families that come in for, you know, for the uh, lots of kids that are doing. Um, what's what? I'm trying to think of the term when they're being taught in house. Uh, Tutored or at home uh, at learning? Um, yeah, on yes. Online learning, yes. So um, again, they're doing pro, you know, their projects and their homework, and it might be an essay on an animal. Uh, so it's coming in to learn more for their, you know, for their essays to give to their moms and stuff. That's so good. That's such a great way to give back to the community. We've had uh, Nikki Smithinski, owner of Indigo Pets with me, James Steinhuel, on TVU on the Mika Safe House channel. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. You have a nice day. Merry Christmas. Okay, it's a James Steinhuel, TVU on the Mika Safe House channel with Kelly, manager of Mr. Pets in St. Albert. How are you doing, Kelly? I'm good. How are you? Fantastic. And you're busy. You guys are going. What's up? <laughs> Very busy. <laughs> yeah, people, I think, are uh, getting ready for Christmas and... Um, Unfortunately, thanks to to COVID and some restrictions, um, we're kind of limited on the customers we um, can have in the store right now. Okay, yeah. But we're doing but, our best. <laughs> that's good. And what's uh, what's what's of interest this year? What's the what's the hot products? Animals. Um, we don't um, sell puppies um, okay. any longer, um, okay. but we do have cats and kittens with the Barhead Animal Rescue Society up for adoption. Okay. Um, we typically try and have some baby bunnies and some guinea pigs, hamsters, um, lots of fish. Lots of fish is a hot item this year. Okay. <laughs> fish tanks and. That's good. That's good. And the uh, local community, the people that live closest to you, they've been supporting you. Very supportive. Um, yeah, I've been here 20 plus years, and we've been very lucky with our uh, customers and local and. Even as far as you know, West Lock and even farther north. Yeah, that's yeah, good. for sure. That's good. And so, uh, a brief, uh, you know, thirty-second description of your business. What would you say? It's a great place to be. Um, great customers. Great staff. Um, get to hang out with some of the animals. <laughs> you can't ask for more of a of a great job. You get to play with pets, on the most part. <laughs> That's fantastic. We've had uh, Kelly, manager of uh, for 20 years of Mr. Pets in St. Albert with me, James Stein, who will TV you on the Mika Safe Host channel. Thank you, Kelly.